Hi guys, what's going on? Um, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Today we're going to do a gear review of all of the gear that I could find where I usually keep my gear. I have a lot of gear. A lot of gear. You have no idea how much gear I have. It's ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to start um, with vests and harness because let's uh, get those out of the way. So this, this is a harness that I got from a pet expo in not this November, last November. Um, that's my phone. Sorry, it might go off a few times. Um, the company that made it was Angel Pet Supplies. Um, it fits Sven really nice, but it the shoulder straps kind of... This part is actually a little bit big for her. So here, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. She's not really a huge fan of this harness. But this is what I'd have her wear. Stay still. Uh, this is what I'd have her wear if it was like super hot outside in the summer and I didn't want her to wear her vest or we were going hiking. Um, it's just a lot easier to uh, keep clean than her river dog vest. Um, I also have another vest that would be considered our mess vest. Okay, sit down. Um, sit. On your butt. There you go. Um, yeah, so this is a really nice... No, come back. I'm not... You can't leave. Come here. Hey, come here. Lay down. Girl. She doesn't want to be in the video. Um, this is a really nice harness. It's really uh, it's really soft for leather. Um, I bought it in this condition. It was brand new when I bought it. It's a size medium. Uh, the paracord handle I had put on at the Pet Expo by someone else. I can't remember their name or company, though, and I feel kind of bad. I don't remember, um, but the handle was not on it when I bought it. I had to have that added. Um, on our harness, um, I have shoulder pads that I made myself. Um, because the shoulder straps were so big at the time, I needed something to fill the space on her shoulders. Um, on her, on this harness, and I sometimes put it on our leash or her collar that she's wearing right now, it's a canine equipment uh, brand leash sleeve thing. You put it on your leash or your dog's collar and it says do not pet. I have another one that says, give me your collar Sven. I'm going to talk about her collars later so I'll cover this collar later. But I also have one that says working. Um, this one's new, this one's older. Um, I really like them because they slip on pretty much anything. Like, you can put them on anything that they'll fit on. Um, this collar that the one was on was a 1.5 inch collar. It wouldn't fit on a 2 inch collar, but they fit well on a 1 inch and a 1.5 inch collar. And they, they're they pretty visible. I mean, they they are usually white lettering on some other color that they stand out really nice against. So these are canine equipment, or canine friendly, my bad. Um, you can get them at pretty much any pet value. Um, pet value, PetSmart doesn't sell them, but to, not yet. But um, I imagine they probably will in the future. I got mine from Pet Value. And they've been a lifesaver for me. This is our vest. This is our current vest, I should say. I have another vest. Um, let's take some of these things off it. Oh yeah, they do come in smaller too. This one fits better on smaller collars and um, and one inches. Uh, these will fit perfectly on one inches, much like these will fit well on 1.5 inches. Um, this is our pull strap. And we got this from Purple Poodles on Instagram. Um, on Facebook, her name is Lily Tenen. Um, really nice. I really love this pull strap. Um, it's super soft. It's made of fleece on the inside. And it's machine washable. So when it gets like all 
like matted, I just kind of throw it in the wash and it's all nice and fresh and beautiful again. Um, it's really soft. This is a 16 inch pull strap. I love this pull strap. It's super soft. It uh, has these hooks on it, which I don't know. I have a fascination with these hooks. I absolutely love them. They tend to swivel better on the D-rings. Um, I can't hold anything today on the D-rings. Um, so I really like this pull strap. This is, this is a good pull strap. Um, we do have one from Ruger's Ropes coming, and when they send theirs, I will do a review on their stuff because I really, really love rope gear. Um, this is our vest. It is a River Dog gear vest. Um, the thing I love about River Dog gear is that the seller asks questions before she sells vests, which I love because it's so easy to buy vests on Amazon and it's a lot harder to fake a service dog with one of these when the buyer when the seller asks questions um so I love that it fits Ven super well it was custom made the custom sizing and lots of vests are really hard to fit on Sven because she has really narrow shoulders and a really deep chest so by definition a dog with her chest should have broader shoulders or a dog with her narrow shoulders should have not as deep of a chest. So this works really well, and she's really comfortable in this vest. It's super bright. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's impossible to miss. It's so bright against her fur. Like, you can't miss it. It's not possible. Um, I have a tiny dead pool on our vest, and it says, his little speech bubble says, Would you just relax? which I feel is pretty applicable. Um, don't ask me why. I, I love Deadpool. Um, these, this patch, all my patches are Velcro. This patch is from Patchtown on Amazon. Um, I believe it's run by someone named Jeff Bass. Um, I really like his stuff. It's really well made. Um, there's no phrase on it. I've had this for a while. And there's no phrase on it. I have another one on my one tigress vest that's smaller that um, is older and hasn't frayed either. This patch is my favorite patch that I own. Do not pet. You can't miss this patch. It is 3.5 inches here to here and here to here. And it's fantastic. You can. The thing I love about this patch is that when I'm having a really super low spoon day, and people come up behind me and pet my dog, I just rip it off and hold it up. Um, I really love that patch. It's from Danny and Luann Embroidery. You have to go on eBay to order this one in specific. They do have ones like it on their Etsy, but I haven't seen them on there for a long time. The patches on the side are River Dog gear as well. They came with the vest. They're super nice. I really love how thick they are and well made. Um, the embroidery is really visible on these. Um, I got the vest with pockets. This is the regular pocket vest. It is not the boulder vest. I do not need that much room. Uh, what do I have in here? I have a multi-tool. Because I always find myself with a bottle opener. When I need one, I'll buy some vintage soda. and be like, oh, it's twist-off cap. And then it's not. So I have a bottle opener. It has a nail file, it has a burr comb, a tick remover, and it has... Oh, that's for getting dirt out from under your nails. Um, or the dog's nails, I should say. Um, so there's that. I love this. It's very handy. I have little card holders to keep my stuff dry if it rains. Even though River Dog vests are typically very water resistant, they my stuff has never gotten wet in a River Dog gear vest. Um, I absolutely love them. This is a patch that my friend got me. Um, I'm gonna keep it off for now because um, I'm not sure about the audience and I'm not sure how they would feel about that. This little thing here um, is a substitute because I don't have a pouch that says emergency info inside. This is the side of my vest that I keep all of my emergency stuff on, so it has, I keep it in a plastic bag inside one of the card holders, emergency info inside, so that if first responders ever have to come and I'm not able to give it to them, they can open Sven's vest and find it. 
I also keep my doctor's note in there, uh, my record of medications, extra info about my medications in case they have to give me something that it might react with, then they'll know. Um, and I got this little thing from a place called uh, mydogtag.com. They have uh, great stuff. You can get military issue, well, not military issue, like the military doesn't issue them, but they're pretty this, they're pretty exact about um, military dog tags. You can order them for medical reasons, for jewelry. Uh, they have all kinds of neat little gadgets. Um, this is one of them. They have little pill containers, um, survival stuff. It's super good. I've gotten stuff from them twice now. I got a pair of dog tags when I was much, much, much younger, back when I was in cadets, um, and I love them. And now this, and this was a little bit smaller than I expected it was going to be, but it's also really nice because it doesn't get caught on anything because it's so small. It doesn't have um, the size to get caught on anything, which is great because we get caught on a lot of things when we're on the bus. This is a this is a night eyes spotlit light it's just a safety measure i keep it on sven's vest so that when we're walking in the dark i can turn it on people can see us i have another one it's dead it's on my keys because it has just enough battery for me to use as a light to get in my house goodness um to get in my house at night but it's not bright enough and it doesn't stay on um to be a safety a health and safety um these can go either um, constant, they can, and there's going to be a little bit of a flash here, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, just be warned in case there's people who are light sensitive, have epilepsy, just, just a warning in case. It has constant, it has, and slow flashing, and I believe that's it, yeah. My other one has three settings, it flashes super fast, medium, fast, and constant. Um, I really love those because they're they're just handy to have. Like, I keep it on my vest on this side because this is the side that shows Sven walks on my right side because I'm right-handed. I hate using my left hand for stuff. Um, and I'm, I don't know. I She just prefers it on my right side, so that's where she is. So it faces the outside of where we're walking. So when we're walking at night, I'll put this on her, I'll turn it on, and I usually let it flash um, for people who are on bikes so they can see it and not just think it's a random light. Um, the thing on the front of our vest is a, it's a leash wrap, but I had it made so that it would fit over the chest strap instead because the chest strap was just black and the front of Sven is black and no one would see it. So they might think she's not wearing a vest and that tends to cause us more problems. Um, this was made by Patience and Love. Probably most service dog handlers know what Patience and Love is. We all really love Patience and Love. At least I do. Um, inside there's like a pocket for some reason. I don't know what it's for. Um, anyway, I love this thing because it is super visible. Sven, sit up. Sit up, because she's, come over here, come over here, she's tired, come here, sit, we did D&D &D today, so it's super bright against her black and brown fur, um, people can see it, lay down, she's really tired, and that's a good girl, there you go, um, so I love this thing, this thing has been a savior, um, the only problem I've had with this piece of gear in particular. It's not even the gear. Someone once took this so seriously. I was standing at a bus stop waiting for a bus back from the train because I'd come home from my parents for the weekend and I've come back to go to class on Tuesday. I was waiting for the bus to go back to my house to drop my stuff and this older woman was walking and I had my earphones in so I couldn't hear her because with all the trains my SPD was not friendly about it. So I had my earphones in and I had it turned up pretty loud. Um, and this lady was walking and she was, she'd stop and kind of like lean in and then just stand there. And I eventually figured out that she was talking to me when Sven like poked me in the leg with her nose and then looked at me and then looked at her. So I took my earphone out and she said, 
Um, her exact words were, people have a right to sit in those seats. And I thought she meant the, the um, I thought she meant the chairs behind me, not the chairs, like the, the bench, the bus bench, because I had my backpack, which was pretty heavy, and my duffel bag, which had all my clothes in it. And I had it sitting on the bench because there was a lot of dirt and like gross stuff on the ground. But I knew if someone came over, I'd have to move them. So I said, oh, I'm sorry. Um, there were still seats open. Even with my bags, there was like five other seats open, and it was like eight in the morning, and no one else was there. <coughs> so <laughs> I moved my bags, and she still wouldn't move. And I was like, can I... What? And um, she said, oh, well, people can't get too close, because it says working, keep back. And I didn't know whether to be happy that someone read the gear that I have on my dog or disappointed because they took it so literally that they thought that they couldn't come within 20 feet of my dog. I, I don't know. It was, it was kind of funny. I didn't really know what to say. So I just said, well, it's to keep people from touching her. And then she proceeded to say, well, it should say don't touch. And I'm like... Well, yeah, but anxiety, like, no, <laughs> just don't get close to me, please, S stay away. So that's our River Dog Gear vest, best vest I've ever bought. This is our old vest. Um, it was our in-training vest for a long, 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 long time. Um, I really like this vest. The only problem I had with this vest is that... There wasn't as much Velcro room on it as I thought there was when I ordered it, and the packs that I got for it um, have my meds in them right now. They're, they're for my med bags in my backpack and outside of it. Um, the packs, I had to attach them down here to fit my, my two-inch patches up here so that people could see that Sven's a service dog. Um... And the packs were really bulky. I couldn't get um, slimmer ones. Like, the River Dog gear has them built in, so they're slimmer. This one, I had to attach, like, Condor pouches to them. And it was really bulky. And um, Sven knew how to maneuver in it, but it wasn't very comfortable for her to lay down and, like, get comfortable. Like, if, we, if she had to tuck, I pretty much had to take the packs off or her vest off. Because they were so, just even not full of stuff, they were just bulky on their own. So I wasn't a fan of that, and I wanted to carry my doctor's note in her vest. So, in case I forgot my bag, and I always have a spare one in my wallet, but I wanted to have her vaccin rac vaccination records, um, my medication list, um, information, all that, emergency contact, I wanted all that together. And it just wasn't working with the Condor pouches. And I, I would still use those if I was going on, like, a super long um, like hike I'd probably use those um, this vest is super light which I really like and it's waterproof so you can get this thing soaking wet and then you just hang it up to dry this one's a medium uh, the large have 1.5 inch straps these are one inches the handle doesn't come with paracord I did that myself just because it was really thin and not I mod the crap out of all my gear so yeah, if it needs to be modded, I will mod it. It has a patch area on the front, Velcro. Um, if I were to give this vest a rating, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5. For my needs, because I need the pouches, um, the Lost Stars, mostly because of the pouches I get for it, are super bulky and they're not very helpful. Um, but in terms of like having a vest for a dog in training... This vest is super nice to get them used to because it's really super adjustable. Um, and you can take this off. It's like completely off. So if your dog's a little bit harness shy, get them used to this. Then introduce this. You get the gist of it. It's, it's really easy to customize this with Paracord. Um, they come in Coyote Tan Black and Ranger Green. In this style, and I know a lot of service dog handlers use one Tigris for tactical vests. Okay, next. Um, weather gear. 
uh, weather gear is super important, especially in Canada, where our winters are, quite frankly, freezing cold. No one has any fun here in the winter, because it's freezing, and who would? Um, it was uh, November, and there was a good amount of snow on the ground, which is normal. But compared to last year, when we didn't have any snow until January, this was kind of a shock. So this is not winter gear. This is summer gear. Because it gets really super hot here in the summer. So, um, Ontario's a mess. Um, this is our canine equipment cooling coat. It is a size 22. Um, it's evaporative cooling, so you don't have to have this thing soaking wet. You don't have to freeze it. You just have to get it wet. This will be less stiff, and it will kind of, like, form to your dog. This has been folded up, which is why it's kind of, like, wrinkly and gross. And it's really easy, because you just slip it over their head, and then you do it up with Velcro underneath. I'll show you what that looks like. So you just put them through these little tabs here. There you go. Stick. There's the other one. There's the tab. Stick it through stick and you have a cooling vest I can wear this is another reason I kept the one tigress is because um, I haven't tested this with the river dog gear vest yet but this is pretty show offable amongst the blue um, and it honestly it's our older vest so I'd rather that when something happened to the lining on that one than the river dog gear vest um, but this, you get it wet, you wring it out, and you put it on your dog, and it keeps them cool for up to, I think it was eight hours, this thing stays cool. And it's pretty handy, because in the summer, when we're out all day, say we have to go, go to class, and then get on a bus and get groceries, I might be out for like four, five, six hours a day, and when it's super hot, it's always just nice to have this, because it keeps her nice and cool while we're out. So that's that. Um, next is our cold weather gear. Um, the last piece of this, actually I'll do these first. These are our Roughwear Grip Trex boots. I have four of them. I just have two for now. They are the black ones. Uh, they're 2.5 inches. Uh, they're, well, the 2.5 size. Um, I love these. I really, really, really love these. Um, they're super easy to put on. Sven has dew claws, so I do have to put something on them so that they don't rub and uh, hurt. But it's pretty easy. Um, they're super easy to take off, put on, and they're super flexible. Um, super well made. They're easy to wash. I've washed these like three times because they got filthy. Um, they hold up the salt really well, and in Ontario we like to put salt all over the road and the sidewalk and literally everywhere. So it gets pretty salty and uh, can burn their paws, so I always make sure I have these on me. If she doesn't wear them when we leave the house, if I need to put them on, I can put them on in like two minutes on the sidewalk. It does not take very long. Um, but I love these. These are good product, like five out of five. Um, and therefore our summer, in case it's super hot or if it's in the winter and there's salt all over the place, then we have protection from that. This is our sweater. Um, it is a Bailey and Bella sweater. I got it on sale at Pet Value and it's it fits Fen surprisingly well, actually. Um, I got it for her because we were standing at the bus stop this year and she was kind of shivering a little bit, so I thought I should probably get her a coat, just in case. Um, it got super cold, and it did, so let's move on. These are my collars. Uh, this is just a plain martingale. I got this from DJ's Aussies. Um, they make dog gear, mostly sport dog gear. You usually see these in flyball. This is why I bought them, because when Sven and I were doing flyball, we still do flyball. We're just taking a long break from it because of some stuff. Um, you usually see these in flyball or agility. Um, just a martingale collar. Um, you put it on, they pull it tight and, well, you know. Um, this one's actually super big for Sven right now because I had taken it off her and I 
tend to put my Martin Gills on so that they don't slip off the ears. Um, this collar I recently got. It is from Ruru Couture on Etsy. Um, it's super bright. I got it to match her River Dog gear vest and her gear because it's orange and blue. Um, I really like this collar. It has a brass buckle on it. It's one inch and it's 17... I think it's a medium. Yeah, it's medium. Um, they make super nice stuff. I really love this collar. I didn't think it was going to be as bright as it was. It needs to be washed. It's kind of dull right now. She's been wearing it a lot. But, um, I didn't think it was going to be as nice as I thought it was when I bought it. And then I was proven wrong when I got it. I was like, whoa. Okay, this is a top-notch collar. So I love it. To, oh, I'll talk about this one while we're here. Any other collars? No. Just that one. Let's talk about this one. This one's my favorite. This is my D&D &D collar. Um... This was made by Sexy Beast Collars. It was last Christmas I got it. Um, last Christmas. Oh, that's my phone number. Um, I had this custom made. <coughs> it's custom braided collar. That little thing there is a dragon. That concho thingy, this thing, is a dragon. It has super heavy duty hardware. Um, it's nice and soft, it fits the fan really well, it didn't take very long to break it in. It's nice and flexible, super well made, it's all Latigo leather, Le leather, 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 <laughs> it's all Latigo leather, I love it, Sven loves it, she's super comfortable in it. It's a 1.5 inch, and then it was tapered to, like, three quarters, three quarters of an inch, or one inch, something like that. Three quarters of an inch, I think. Uh, I got the tag from. Oh, my tag is falling apart. Got this tag from PetSmart. Hello, my name is Spenya. Yeah. Patches. Okay, so this one came with the one tiger's vest. It's not really that special. I'll stick them on the couch. Why not? These two, because I'm a nerd. Um. This one's a video game reference. I don't know if y'all remember the Stalker series. I'm into that. Um, small joke. It's small joke. Um, this one is just a military tactical patch. I have a couple of them. I used to be a cadet, so I'm kind of into that stuff. <clears throat> okay, service dog patches in specific. This one I got, this is the smaller version of the other one that I have in Sven's vest right now. It was on my One Tigress. It's smaller because the bigger one would not have fit in the way that I would like it to. So we have that one. This one was made by Mallory Harak or I've Got You Covered on Facebook. I've Got Ya Covered on Facebook. She's a Canadian company, so I was super happy about this one. Um, I've always wanted a patch that said, asking someone about their disability is rude. Because people ask me all the time, and I hate it. It's really super rude. Don't appreciate it, so I got that. These are the patches that I had on Sven's One Tigress vest. It, they're identical. Service dog, do not pet. I used to have in training patches. That was a long time ago. Um, I don't anymore. I don't have them. I got rid of them. I believe these might be dog line. I'm not sure. I got them off Amazon, so I, it was a long time ago. I really, don't under, I really don't remember. Those are super bright, and they're reflective, and they're waterproof. So, my couch is a patch thing. These two, I love. These are Patience and Love as well as my leash wrap. Um, this one says, Panic Disorder, Do Not Distract, Medical Alert. This one's my favorite because it's orange. Yay. Um, this one I didn't get with orange because it has red and I didn't know how that was going to look. So I got it as the listing said it would look. And it says, not all disabilities are visible. Stop. Don't be a jerk. Which usually I wear when I have this patch on. This one's more, um, for when I have the do not separate one. But... Some days, people, I just want people to read them, not at, like, they'll, hoping they'll read it and not have to ask me. 
Other days, when I don't have the spoons for anything, put this on. People stay out of the way. Everything's fine. And we get on with our day and get stuff done. That is it. Oh, wait. I have fun patches that I've never opened yet. These are new. <clears throat> Trying to figure out where to put them. I have Star Wars patch. Never tell me the odds. Han Solo. I'm still salty about his death. We don't talk about Han Solo's death. Not in this household. Um, and then this one, because I'm Deadpool fan. Maximum effort. I want to find a way... I want to find a way to put this on her vest because I feel like this pretty much describes every day of my life when everything takes more effort than I would like it to to get anything done. Bandana it has patches sewn onto it. <clears throat> that water's really cold. Patches sewn onto it. These patches in particular are from Avassa Crafts on Etsy. She's also on Facebook if you want to do it that way. Um, this one says, not all disabilities look like this. And it has the wheelchair symbol. Some disabilities look like this. Basically what looks to be an able-bodied person. Because I have an invisible disability. This is my suicide awareness patch. Semicolon. I really like it. It was a little bit too big for her vest. Uh, I thought it was going to be smaller. So when I ordered it. Um, I didn't know how much room I was going to have in the River Dog gear vest, and I didn't have enough without it looking a little bit weird, so I sewed it on the bandana instead. <clears throat> in case you haven't noticed, we really, really love bandanas. This one is from, I believe her name on Instagram is Suburban Mutts. I will check it out and link it. In the description is a reversible bandana. Right now, we have the gray with the arrows and the triangles. <clears throat> you want your bandana back? Come here. Lift your head. Put it back on. Wait, I know what to do. Do you have any beats for her? Look at her. She needs beets and potatoes. Find her some potatoes. Look it. Look at small grandmother. Look. Look. Get her some potatoes. She's trying her best. <laughs> it's a small joke. Um, okay, leashes. This is my sport dog leash from Zumi. Um, Z-U-M-I. I've had this leash for two years. It's a great leash. It's really, uh, it's a forefoot. It's not, <clears throat> it's not an over the shoulder, but it does convert into a slip lead. And it does have this ring on the handle so you can wear it across your shoulders. Like so, if it would work. Yeah. Super handy. It's waterproof. It's marine rope the pattern on that. It's kind of marine rope, so it's you can get it wet and soaking wet and drag it through the mud, and it's pretty easy to clean. Um, I really like that leash. This is our over-the-shoulder leash, well, convertible leash. This one converts from an over-the-shoulder leash, like so. You can convert it into a super long leash. I believe this is seven feet in total. Super long leash, or if you want, you can make it a four foot leash. And just tie it to the, clip it to that last ring. It clips on with rings, so four feet over the shoulder. Really super long leash. This is super handy. I haven't felt like using an over-the-shoulder leash often because right now I have like a coat and a bag and um, <clears throat> I use this mostly in the summer. I find when I have my jacket and my book bag and all my heavy stuff and then I have this, it kind of gets tangled up and stuff. I have a lot of stuff that I'm carrying. 
So I used that in summer. This is, hold up. <coughs> this is our new rope leash from, oh, please don't tell me it's not on the handle. It is not. I will link it in the description. This is our rope leash from, we got it at Pet Expo, um, from a vendor. It has the brass clip snap on it. Um, alligator snap, is that what they call those? I have no idea. Um, I added a carabiner on little round hook here. It has a leather handle. It's super soft, which was a big thing. Um, if my leashes aren't soft in, or smooth in some way, I, I can't use them. Um, gives my sensory processing a hard time. So, okay, I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> um, I really like this leash. This is the leash I've been using since we came back from the Pet Expo, which was last weekend, uh, November... Before November 20th, you know, last, the weekend before that. Um, so I really love this leash. It's really well made. I've drug it through the snow. It hasn't faded. I've gotten it wet. hasn't faded. They whip the ends. Um, it's marble at the end. Dark blue. Um, I really, really love this leash. Um, and it's super comfortable. Um, I haven't, I don't use handles like this or like this. I mostly just hold somewhere on the leash because my Sven doesn't pull. So I, I really like this leash, 5 and 5 on this one. What else have I got? I have a Halty, um, Halty head collar. Um, it is the, it's a Halty style, but it is made by Holt, um, H-O-L-T. You know how Halty's, you know, here's Sven. Slip on the face, go around the back of the ears, they clip right there, and then you can direct their head. Um, these are not supposed to be used for quick jerking corrections. It can cause injuries to the spine and neck. Um, don't use them for corrections. They're strictly a tool. They're not a long-term solution. <clears throat> I'm using it. Um, I wasn't using it for a long time because I Sven had gotten over her staring, so I opted to stop using it for a while, and then something happened, a dog attacked her, and she started staring again, so I have to use it again, but I don't use this as a long-term solution. It is simply a training tool, it is not a fixer to all your problems. I have another style that clips around the back of it. It kind of goes over the face and then back, and then it clips back here. That prevents spinal injuries, but it's also, it kind of rides up on the eyes. <coughs> Last but not least, we have our treat pouch. It is a pet safe. I got it from PetSmart. This clicker I got a long time ago from Petcetera when it was still a thing. I don't even know if they'll still run anymore. Um, pet safe, I keep kibble in here. I put red paw kibble in here, and I use Zook's treats as well. Um, I really love this treat pouch because it doesn't have the drawstring. You just pull it open, it snaps shut, dog can't get in. I've been training a friend of mine's puppy who likes to snoop around in the treat pouch, and she can't get it open, so bonus points. Pull it open, there it is, and you want to close it. It snaps shut, and it lays flat. It's not a huge, like, treat bag sticking out from you. It lays flat, which I really love, because it makes it less obvious and likely to get caught on things. So that's our gear review. Um, I like all our gear. If you think that there's any other gear you would like me to review, or if you have gear, if you own a gear shop and you need someone to test your gear, we're all for it. Um, send us a message on Instagram or Tumblr. The link's down in the description on that. Or you can leave us a comment on here. Um, send us an email. My email's down there as well. I would love to help you test gear and give you a review on here. Um, but 
keep in mind I might not be able to purchase your product right away in order to test it because student budgets. Um, so that's it for our gear review. Um, if I find it across any more gear, I will keep updating this video with gear. Um, I'll keep adding new clips of what I find amongst all of my stuff for Sven. Um, I will keep adding it onto this video, so I won't have to put up multiple. Um, I will link stuff that I can find links for down in the description so you guys can find them. Um, shops especially, especially if it's handmade stuff, so like River Dog Gear, Patience and Love will be down there. Uh, Mallory Shop, the place where I got the rope leash, Avassa Crafts, um, Patch Town, and Sexy Beast, and Ruru Couture will all be listed down below, Roughware also. Uh, I will list all that stuff for you guys in case you're interested in buying some more gear. Um, I'm going to put this video up and then we'll, we'll upload the Thursday video after that. Um, the Thursday video is a bit of a rant thing. That's been a huge problem here recently. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button because we really appreciate it. Um, we'd really love for you to become a member of our audience. We like to do stuff for you guys. If you have any ideas for a Q&A, or if you have any questions for Sven and I, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to write them all down, and then when we do the introductory live stream, I will answer all of them. When the live stream is announced, be sure to come, because you get to ask pretty much whatever you want. Um, there's going to be some rules on that, but not as strict as probably would be otherwise. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, keep watching for new stuff from us. We try to do stuff at least twice every week. Um, hectic school schedules and papers are coming up, so um, that's a yay school. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sven and I had a little good time making it. Sven slept most of the time. <coughs> Come here. so tired. Put your bandana on your ears again. That was funny. Subscribe for more, subscribe for more stuff. Uh, we would love for you to become a member of our audience, and we look forward to seeing you next time on the next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye.